Yeah, yeah good afternoon. Good afternoon. Sir, when you were talking in the in the meeting the other time, yes. you were saying you were once a a, a masquerade. A masquerade. Yes. That's Sir, it. how were you able to escape from that and become someone that's respectable yes. someone in Nigeria? Well, the issue is uh, simply this: when people are growing up, there's tendency to join the group and be part of it. You know, my grandmother was Yago, that is the chief of the masqueraders. Okay. And she didn't have a son, she only had a daughter. So she was one who put me there. My mom didn't know that I was a masquerade. And on a serious note, uh, I tried to smoke cigarette and I coughed, so I didn't smoke cigarette. But I was drinking a gogoro without cup. Ages 11 to 14. You can imagine that age, that early age, drinking a gogoro without cup. You know, so there's always tendency for children to go astray. But along the line, I became a Christian. My mother was a strict disciplinarian, no nonsense woman, and so I became a mommy's boy. And this ah, Roger Manity one year, remember the son of whom you are. You know, all these were there resonating in my head. So eventually, when I was growing up, going to the university, becoming the CEO of the Bible Society of Nigeria, traveling to 75 countries of the world, I carried that message remember the son so of who you are. So along the line, I eventually realized that every child can turn good. The area boys have mother and father. They have rubber, the courtes, they have parents. So it's real parenting. So let the parents do their own part and then prayer will sort the rest out. You see, eventually many parents are failing. So people just think it's about having children. It's not about having children, it's about bringing them up so they will not be a menace to the community. Their names will not be had in the wrong places. So that's where I brought up my children. I told them, look, I don't have apology because no matter what, I am still the person that is your father. I want to be your father and your friend. So at the end of the day, all my children turn out fine. And I'm so happy about that because they won't give me a problem. My son hit the policeman with his car. He didn't know the police had broke the windscreen of my boy's car. He was on cell for two days. I did not say, they knew I could come, I'm connected. If I call about some job, but if he doesn't answer me, he will call me back. My sister, Badi Asharati, will tell Yakubu Gwanyan, Yakubu Gwanyan was the chairman. So I'm connected, but I won't. If you want to cover your children from the evils they do, you will hire lawyers for them when they are in crime in future. Mm -hmm. Let them go through it. Don't, don't let your children look as if they are ex ex extraordinary. They are all human beings. Behave themselves. So the boy was in cell for two days. Eventually, the police did not die, and they were able to release him, release his car, and he learned a lesson. If you do anything wrong, daddy will not be there for you. So we thank God for that. So let us all realize that let everybody, don't look down on any man unless you want to admire his shoes. Let your children realize that. So all the problem we have, the menace we have, all this cultism, check them out. They are children of big people, children of yes. generous yes. children. Because they know their father will be there to press button. If any child does the wrong thing, don't press button for them. Let them face the music. They will learn the lesson and they will turn out to be good by fire by force. That's my message to parents. Thank Parenting you, is lacking in Nigeria. Your name was again, sir. Uh, Barrister Dr. Fred Oditola. I was the seventh CEO and general secretary of the Bible Society of Nigeria and the chairman for Africa Area Board, United Bible Society. Thank you so much.